Hej och välkommen till min Youtube-kanal. Nu ska vi äntligen titta på de olika eh, krigsskeppen. Örlogsfartyg eller vad fan de kallas. Gymodism. Cringe. Gymodism, that's cringe. You're watching Gymodism. And we're back. We're back in from the depth. And uh, this was a long time ago I scared you with an intro uh, in Swedish. Here we are. We're going to fight <laughs> the different battleships. And uh, there is a lot of battleships to um, fight, so we're just gonna begin. First out, we have the broadsword against uh, Coffee Zombies McDoodlin's Revenge, um, which you probably remember the similar design from the uh, um, well steampunk tournament. And if you haven't seen that, you have to watch that right now. Anyways, we have a lot of simple weapons here. Oh god, because we have so many bell ships, we won't look at uh, like the rules are really loose, so we don't really look at them super um, in detail. Of course, oh god, that looks dangerous. Is that a melee? I did not allow melee though, but whatever. Uh, everyone will be facing my broadsword, <clears throat> so it's not a proper tournament. It's basically a challenge thing and we got a lot of submissions so let us start this battle to actually get some action going oh what happened here we need to slow down time you know what we also need to do i need to lower my graphic settings <laughs> we're playing full graphics <laughs> there we go the battle can finally continue um, with lowest settings. Now we're playing in shit quality. So, um, God, that's so many simple weapons, though. Oh, the broadsword. Come on, get into melee side. <laughs> the, the lambs are targeting the simple weapons. Oh no, that's a lot of that's a lot of scary EMP coming in there. The APS cannon is spamming shots. Oh! What's happening here? The broadsword is coming in and doing that. Amazing. 10 FPS. I kind of wonder if we can enable the PC or, or B whatever shaders. Because this looks a little bit too crap. Maybe maybe that's what's, what's, what's the thing. Anyways. Should be something like that. I don't know if it, that did anything but... Um, I, I'm kind of very sad that the cram shells are very not, you know, shiny. Well, here is a proper... Whoa! What's happening here? The broadsword is 9 to 95 percentages! Oh no! Come on, crams! Fire! All right, Coffee Zombies McDoodlin's revenge. I think he is trying to take a revenge on me now. Seems like it. Wow. Okay. Did I enable some weird option? Why do I see these boxes here? Don't tell me I have some kind of damage debugging. Oh no. Why did I have that, though? Clear all, thank you. <laughs> I think that gained us a few FPS back. Look, we have a little cockpit there. Very cute. Anyways, the broadsword is nine, down to 91% and the coffee zombie is at uh, 95 percentages. What is the broadsword doing here? Oh, no, we have holes in it. This is not good. My ship turned blue as well. What happened with the colors? <laughs> I think the settings changed the colors. <laughs> Why is that? Do we have some weird... What's happening here? I don't know. It's doing its thing. It's blue now, but that's cool too. We really have a problem. I didn't fix my lambs um, versus the uh, 
my tor my I have my harpoons and the lambs target my own harpoons. It's really bad. I should have fixed that, but I didn't. Anyways, I'm guessing we're actually reaching the small weapons like max limit probably. I wonder though what are these things? What's going on here in general? How is this going to end? Why am I already down to seven, uh, 87 percent? Um, <clears throat> God, this thing is kind of flat. <laughs> it's an interesting build style. This is so high rising. What's up with the AI? Why is it continuing to... Do we have a problem here? Honestly, it's set up to switch broadsides when it's too damaged. I'm kind of surprised we haven't reached that limit yet. Anyways. The broadsword has... A good bit more material going though. <clears throat> I gave him both 200,000 to start with because that's kind of what I said I should give. Okay. I think this is just uh, some kind of armor piercing shell to be honest. Whoa, can we can we take out that? No, we can't. All right. Are we finally switch? Are we finally switching broadside sides here? No, not yet. Coffee zombie is still at eighty-two thousand materials. Slamming us with some shells going on there. Surely, but steadily. It's just a lot of simple weapons. You shouldn't underestimate simple weapons for sure. But right now it kind of looks like we will be able to make this thing sink. We'll see. The game volume can also be a little bit louder, to be honest. Oh, reduction of repetitive noises. So off. Yes, there we go. Come on. <laughs> These! Oh my god, that's just so much spam! But what's going on here with the broadsword? Why are you not switching broadsides? This is weird. Well, anyways. Technically, it's only been two minutes. I'm not sure I buy that. Slow in game time. We do got some... I wonder what these are shooting at. Oh, we have enemy torpedoes. We are just deleting them enemy torpedoes. We don't need to worry about them. That's a lot of them. Okay. Coffee zombie down to 75% materials. We are stable, but we're only at 80% health. Health. Yeah. <clears throat> What's happening here? I'm just spamming shells to and fro. How is the underside of the broadside looking? I'm still kind of recently out of the waterline, so that's good. It didn't make me slow down yet. 
The anti torpedo system are holding up. It is. It's doing some damage. Oh god damn it! Can you can shoot through there? I'm wondering. <laughs> no, I'm wondering if the damage check is working on this thing. Oh, come on! You can't turn that far. You're so stupid. I don't know if this turret will be able to get back. It finally decided to switch broadside. That took some time, down to 74%. But if we line up a decent broadside, we should be able to take out some stuff. How are our anti-missile missiles going though? It feels like the lag just slows everything down, so it's kind of working a little bit strangely. Anyways, let's let's see what's happening here. We're gonna slow down time a little bit. God, that's slow. I wanted to slow down time, but whatever. Now we're finally facing a decent broadside, so now we can fire back, which feels nice. Down to 73 percentages, but uh, that's still something. We can't run the game at full speed, it's just too laggy. I don't even know why I try to record from the depth in like 60 FPS, because I kind of never get 60 FPS anyways. We had a lot of stone structures here too. That's some interesting armoring. Some quite some interesting layout of this thing. And here we have a weird looking turret with some glass shards to protect them. The laser ones. Yeah, that makes sense. Interesting yellow details going on there. Anyways. Our lamp system sucks. Can you see that? It had a visual on that missile all along. It didn't take it out. And our broadside. What's going on here? The turret got stuck. That's so stupid. God damn it. That's the worst thing. That's our most expensive weapon too. Come on. It should have set up some angle limitations. Well, it seems to not do now. It, it, it's at least switching broadside, so that's one good thing. Oh, maybe it's just damaged. It's kind of a little bit has some holes in it, doesn't it? It's a little bit sad too. Oh no. Does any of my broadsiding weapons work? <clears throat> Anyways, our simple weapons are working. Very nice. This cram cannon is a little bit sad. Okay. 65%. We're still above the waterline, that's one good thing. I wanna know though. I wonder if my torpedoes do some damage. We have so much materials left though. They gain 10% uh, of the material they do to the other vehicle, by the way, so it's good to deal damage. Right. This thing is definitely putting up a really good fight. We don't have any... Like, the broadsword doesn't shoot back very often. Nowadays. So 
seems to not... It's like none of the cramps are working. It's basically a big hole. Yeah, I think this will definitely not win this thing. It's just too many holes. I'm kind of surprised it's still standing, but that's because the important bits are kind of resting behind there. I must say that uh, our anti... Our anti-torpedo torpedoes have done a really good job at uh, keeping the underside of this ship very much not damaged. Um, and it seems that we should have a lot more repair bots than we have. Because this is not putting up any good fight. In any case, we're down to 57 percentages, which means that, yeah, we're losing this one. Good job, Coffee Zombie. You won this uh, battle against the Broadsword. But, um, yeah. It's a nice forward-facing platform, so I'm not very surprised this one takes home a good win. Because, uh... It's designed to be pretty, pretty good, I think. Oh no! Something happened with the... Oh no! Oh no! The AI is defunctional! It start to tip! Oh no. Well, it's official. Let's, let's move on with the next battle. So our first battle was uh, Coffee Zombies McDoodlin's Revenge. Next up we have Ad Necrias. L.F.N. Fredrikrius. Very nice. Start a battle. I just realized I had to set up uh, the colors kind of manually, so here we go. Now we have a now we have some more proper colors on the broadsword. Please enjoy its uh, visuals. Anyways, what Adnikrias doing? We have shields too. This looks like a proper battleship battleship. It's coming in there with APS and all kinds of stuff, but damn! That was some explosions going on there. That's a good cram cannon hit we got there for sure. Can we actually take this thing out? We're spamming it. Whoop. Looks like we are hauling it in. Oh my god. <laughs> we have uh, successfully um, hit it with some uh, harpoons and now we're mysteriously running away from the target. So our beautiful ass turrets are doing their good job of uh, fending, off, uh, fending off a necreas from behind. Alright. This is quite interesting. Adnecrius shields are doing a good job. Will the Fredrikius, Fredrikius, it's, it, it's like, like Fredericks or something. Will L Eleven F Fredrik, Fredrik, will LFN Fredrik put up a good fight still? It's burning! Oh no! That's some cool visual. <laughs> I think that's some cool intentional visual effect to show damage. Wow, that's kind of funny. Or is it some kind of... I don't know. Can we just... Can we just freeze this game here? Let's see. Is it some kind of laser... Anti-laser whatever thing? That tries to surround it in smoke, but it looks more like decorations. It looks like it's supposed to be burning or something. It's kind of cool though. Let's uh, let's move on. <clears throat> so, what's going on here? Adnecrius ship is. Ooh. Do we have a rusty finish on this thing? Kinda looks like rusty camouflage. I didn't know that was a thing. 
<clears throat> Very cool detail. Anyways, the broadsword is in the lead, but we are kind of tipping here. What is going on? I think the it's too much to drag this ship along. We need to get into a good broadside. Adnacreas is down to 82% yes, and we're at 97.5. I think the updated paint job is doing a good thing of making us happy. Now the APS is going on and uh, hammering on a little bit again. Oh, the broadsword is coming in with the broadside. Let's slow down time and move close. Oh no, everyone is missing. Except one. That was a, gonna, that was a kind of good hit though. Anyways, let's speed up time again. Simple weapons or broadsorting in there. Ed Nicreas is down to 74 percentages. Poor thing. It's really burning. Do you see that intimidating thing in the horizon? That's the broadsword. And the cram shells that are exploding in the air, that is my anti missile. No, anti anti air. <clears throat> crams, except we don't have any air targets, so it will target anything. Oh no! We go. The broadsword is getting ballistic. Amazing, Jimon is very amazing. Anyways, oh, a lot of shots incoming there for sure. Whoa! It deals some damage for sure. 64% I'm pretty confident that the broadsword will win its uh, first and possibly last battle in this little uh, mini challenge. It's more of a challenge than a tournament. That was a good hit. Because we're so loose on the rules. Alright. Boom. That's some explosion. Simple swarm coming in again. Add Nacreous down to 55 point. Three, two, one. Bam! It's out of the game. The battle is won by the broadsword. Fantastic. We did win. Amazing. Good job, Gmodism. Thank you. Beautiful ship, Add Nacreous. I like the burning. And the rusty metal, you can see it's a rusty metal. I didn't know it was this kind of texture, I, but I do love it. I need to search this up and use it. That's super cool. Anyways, cool battle. Let's move on. Next up we have the Lux LP Takemasa and uh, we're gonna test the ones first and for a few people they so much wanted to send in two builds so we did accept that with a caveat that we might not test them uh, or test them lastly. So we're gonna test the number twos a little bit later. But anyways now we're gonna select the Lux LP uh, Takemasa thing and... Yeah, let's let's uh, let's get into and just start this little battle here. <laughs> let's switch up the music a little bit. Let's go with some 8-bit beats instead of that dark music. This is the Takemasa, very beautiful. You can see here we have rail guns, we have side stuff, we have ooh, we have a lot of lamps and stuff like that. It's spamming out. Wow, it's spamming torpedoes though. Here we have a beautiful little piece that is keeping the roll straight. Interesting system. Lot of propellers. Whoa, can it can it shoot down all of those? It could take out the harpoon, but we sent more, so or no, it sent against us. It seems. So whatever, doesn't matter. We are harpooning each other. <laughs> Anyways, now it's it's it trying to escape. Why is it escaping? Whoa, that's some penetration. Poor Takemasa, we have some internal problems here. Oh no, interesting. What's going on? The engine is loud on this thing. 
Broadsword, how are you doing? Doing good. Very nice. And we have some anti-missile missiles going on there and stuff. What's happening here? Do we have explosions down here? Oh yes, some of those missiles reached us for sure. Alright then. Maybe the in-game sound is a little bit too loud after all. Master volume, let's turn it down a notch. Anyways. We are repairing, we're taking damage. We have, an, we have some APSs that are coming in and just constantly doing some damage. Anyways. Oh, it's far away now. What happened there? Takamasa is trying to keep its distance here. It's down to 88 percentages, but it's definitely gaining at this distance. And its shields are doing a good job at uh, making it not die. We're launching shells at it for sure. I hope our APS system is still online, because it's really sad if that one goes down. Anyways, let's look from this side here. Ew, looks like the Takamasa has some serious sinking problems. I think we probably are going to win against this by just putting it below water under 80 percentages. Probably, we're down. It's so much metal, this thing ain't wanna float too much. Our weird thing of like doing this uh, extreme thing with like wings and hydrofalls and stuff like that to just make us over the waterline might actually pay off. We can't be sunk at least, or can be, but it's hard to sunk us, sink us. But we're also a huge target, a huge big floating target that anything can hit. All right, now we're gaining some distance here. Come on, broadside this thing. Oh yeah, there we got some good damage going on. All right. What? And our... I kind of suspect that our APS system is not the best thing set up against it, but... I don't even remember what shell we have. I, I think it's only a... I think it's only a one of those, like, uh, normal, normal shells or armor piercing, possibly. 73 percentages. Whoa, we popped that turret right off. Poor thing. We're speeding ourselves down into the water, are we? No, we're not. Oh, we accidentally followed the wrong shell there. And I wonder, are our, are our torpedoes reaching it? No, probably not. I don't know. Maybe it has some anti-torpedo defense or something. That's some long steam propeller shafts going on there. Alright. Sixty. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't despawn from like being too damaged or something, but well, whatever. Kinda interesting. Well, 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 we're down under 50%, so now the uh, Lux Alpi Takemasa is gone. And the material restriction and stuff like that is, uh, is it's very wide, so this is not like an even battle in any case between any of the crafts, so... Um, because the l rules are so loose, it's like you could, you, for people that sent in ships, I said that they should be at least 400,000 materials and they can't be more than 1.2 million. And that's kind of the rules. Um, and it's gonna be a battleship of some kind and that's basically it. So, I don't know what material limit or how many materials we have there, but anyways, Good job, the broadsword. Winning this one indeed. Looks LP Takemasa got defeated. Which means we're moving on. So, go to setup. Teams. 
Next up on our list, we have Flash's BB4 Conqueror. Here we can see, by the way, um, the Coffee Zombie was 1 million, and Necreas was like 440,000, so it was really uh, not very expensive at all. And the Takemasa was 800,000, and the Conqueror that we're gonna spawn now is like 1 million. 103,000, so it's, it's a pretty big one. It's gonna be in uh, even size. All right. Uh, there we go, come on. Very beautiful. Now we have spawned here. Ew! Beautiful looking ship. That's a, that's a, like a proper bell ship, like good Yamato feeling on this thing. We have some interesting superstructures going on here for sure. Look at this beautiful superstructure. With like interesting areas you can go up and down and look around and do stuff and it has flags and stuff and... We even have a little nice interior area here. Isn't that nice? Anyways, we should focus on this battle instead. And the flash is at 99 point. Oh, it's doing heavy damage to the broadsword. Oh no, it's shot through there while we, while we were looking at some random stuff. Our anti-missile missiles cannot take out many of the missiles at all. 88%, yeah, they, oh no, that's some damage going on there, poor thing. I'm thinking the broadsword is going to lose this very hard. The Conqueror is uh, is doing a very good job at uh, being alive in general. We have some simple weapons. It's launching a lot of vertical launching missiles. We're having some fast fire APS there. We have some big barrel bad boy APS there. We're having a proper land system set up. We're having decorations. We're having breakfast. No, we're not. Anyways, I think that's some... Um, uh, might decrease our accuracy and stuff. Wow. It's keeping its distance too. This is not good, good fighting conditions for the uh, broadsword. The broadsword really... <laughs> Oh no, poor thing. The broadsword really wants to keep kind of close to the target. And we can't really do that in this condition, it's just too far away. How are our anti-torpedo torpedo systems holding up? I wonder... Yeah, I think the Flash BB-04 Conqueror is definitely winning this thing. The broadsword is looking really sad. Uh, our AI compartment is starting to take some serious damage too. We're down to 69. Yeah. Beautiful ship, the Conqueror. Looks like a proper battleship. Set up to deal some damage and stuff like that for sure. We also got some pretty serious armor going on here with some serious wedges here. You can see we have like wedged armor. We have stones and lasers inside of there and yeah, that's some pretty tough armor. That's some proper armor going on there. We're down to 59 percentages, so it's very likely we're going to just get the uh, disqualified very soon. Oh no! We were not able to take out those incoming missiles. I think the anti-missile AI is taken out in general. Which is uh, makes sense because this this ship is definitely hardcore dying. I'm kind of surprised that the AI compartment inside here isn't damaged. More luck probably. Bam. And there we go, Flash's BB-04 Conqueror does win this battle, and it's a mighty looking ship with lots of missiles, torpedoes, and APS, and uh, 
Wait, what? Was that the cram also? Nah, no, probably not. This is more an APS, it's more a little bit modern type of design. And really cool super structures, I enjoyed those. So it looks nice too. A lot of mimics and stuff. Anyways, the poor broadsword is down to very few percentages. So, oh god, it's down to like 10%. How can this even be possible? Poor thing. It's absolutely devastated. Anyways, we should be moving on. Next up, we have Nova Galaxy's um, Sup Police Super Cruiser Mark 1. So we're gonna select that beautiful thing and start this bell. Well, look here. The Nova Galaxy's uh, Police Super Cruiser is, uh, is looking kind of sharp. Very sharp. And it's definitely, uh, it has a little police design thing. <laughs> With uh, <laughs> wee -oo, wee -oo. stuff going on right there, that's pretty cool. All right, so it seems to be a pretty. Uh, it seems to have pretty few cannons there. I don't remember what cost this came in the with, but. Uh, since we did harpoon it twice, our crams are. Are they doing any damage? Nova Galaxy 98%, Broadsword 97. The battle is going on evenly. This is like a lot of armor in this thing. It takes some punch, I believe. Okay. How are my torpedoes doing though? And what is happening? Did my AI die? Oh no! I think it killed the AI! It did kill the AI! But how? How did it get in here? I don't see a hole! Damn! Wow, Nova Galaxy's police supercruiser just AI deaded this thing. Damn, that was a quick battle. It has to have some real hardcore penetrating stuff going on there. With EMP and stuff to just AI dead us. Oh well, good job. The Nova Galaxy super police cruiser is indeed taking this home. I just kind of respawned them. Look at the size of that thing though. That is absolutely huge. What the hell? <laughs> it's so much alloy in this thing. I'd never use alloy. But this is... Bam! So much alloy. These cannons got to be real hardcore. And it's shooting blue and, and, and red shots like that. I of course don't know what's in these shots, but here we have some interesting interior side here. Of course, it's already won the battle. I just wanna see how does it target the AI so good? Is it just insane amounts of like EMP or something? Maybe I did a poor EMP protection. Honestly, I have no idea. It has to be uh, doing some EMP damage. I think the backside of this is, I don't know. Interesting nonetheless, it already won of course. So we won't be badgering about that. Very good, Nova Galaxy. Um, I don't really know what type of weapons we have that is dealing this damage, but was it some pack as well? Or did I just mistake my eyes? Well, we can't look through, but this is huge. Is it really cheaper than mine? Anyways, we, we gotta check that for sure. Anyways. 
I really wonder, it has to be just a lot of ally and just spacing it out to make it so damn big. That's huge. That ship is just enormous. I can't get how it's in quotation marks only. 1.12 1 around million. It's kind of insane. Anyways, the broadsword is going on there. So uh, Nova Galaxy wins that thing. Next up will be the Sean Reed's The Cram Paper Double Blam. So we're gonna check that out. The twos we're gonna look at later. And we're gonna spawn it and start the battle. And there we go. Oh, damn, what is this thing? It's like two Doritos taped together or something. With. Wow, that's a lot of space. We have wood and metal. Cool mixture going on there. Cram, paper, doom, cram, paper, doom. <laughs> wow. It has a paper paper plane aesthetic for sure. And that's a big doom cram. We already disabled one. Lucky us, I suppose. The broadsword is down to 85% though. Damn. That's some strong doom cramps going on there. Where did they hit? I don't know, where did they hit? It's kind of leaking from some... Oh man. Okay. I think it hit around here. <laughs> oh lords. Yeah, so that was some serious cram hit for sure. It's, it's as well, it's at 98 percentages too, so... Oh, that was a lucky deflection. 85%. Wow. It's so... Paper thin, too. Weird design. Never seen something like this. Oh, there we have the Doom Crams. It's, it's all it has. Rudders and... A lot of like that, and we have some interesting... It says something here. Winning... Dital... Win... Win... Win? Anyways. What's going on here? And, oh, it's kind of open, is it? Weird. Maybe it's just to try and make the... Uh, may maybe it's just to try and make our ship, like, hit the wrong places. Damn, that we got the serious doom cram hit again. And we have incoming torpedoes, and the torpedo anti-torpedo system is doing nothing. Seems to have been taken out indeed. The APS is very sad. Oh, man! The AI compartment! Oh no! That's some serious doom cramps going on there. Our engine is damaged, so we can't hold up the recharge anyways, but it doesn't matter. The Sean reads that the cram, paper double blam, uh, just nuked our AI out, basically. Uh, so there ain't much we can do. But um, that's what's happening. The broadsword is very sad. Sean Reed is winning this little skirmish. The cram paper double blam, paper Dorito doom cram thing is a strong ship indeed. But I think mine is more beautiful. Look, it's a little bit damaged now, so maybe it doesn't look very nice. But well, anyways. Moving on, then we'll have the Saito Shepard Krantos class heavy cruiser Mark IV B Lambs. That's going to battle the broadsword. Because, um, oh yeah, well, there we go. Because in this little battles, uh, everyone is battling the broadsword. In case you missed. All right, so how are we going, Saito Shepard Krantos class heavy cruiser? We got some exploding cramps going on here. It's a sharp and pointy design. 
we got some serious metal there and we got some serious um, APS with some cute windows very nice we have a nice little uh, hang around area there some lights and stuff and a dead turret there looks like our cramps are doing something oh, well that's good we're up to broadsiding too all right interesting indeed and there we go it also has some anti torpedo torpedoes or possibly torpedo launchers not quite sure who man I think it ate up some of our ammo here that's 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 our main ammo supply I think <laughs> it's like a big hole there Oh, and it has holes in here too. Poor thing, it's getting, it's going a little bit lower than it should now. It's a low riding. But the broadsword is in the lead in terms of materials. We'll see, we'll see how this is going on. We don't have so many, so many materials. It looks like our lambs are targeting this little thing, but it's too weak to do much. And we got some uh, penetrating crams doing some interesting damage inside. Saito Shepherds, Krantos, Crass, Heavy Cruiser is down to 77 percentages. So, uh, we got some damage going on here. We have some good wedging armor inside of here, but our crams are some serious business too, so it's hard to armor uh, against the cram, to be honest. And now my crams just go through, that's too sad. 76%, the broadsword is at 87. Welp, we shall see what's going on. And it's going a little bit low. If it's sinking, it will have trouble too. God, that's a lot of missiles. Oh, isn't that... Isn't that like... Uh, the carry, carry stuff. What are they called? Cluster missiles? Look like cluster missiles. <laughs> Maybe not our superstructure. It's super exposed, by the way. But it's taking some heavy damage for sure. Well, anyways. 83% will Saito Shepard uh, turn around this battle, is the question. It seems that our broadside is still doing a good job, which means that we have a chance of taking it out. That detonated too early. We have some holes in here. Its superstructure is also a little bit Swiss cheese. It's 73%. Oh, there we got some detonation. Finally, my cramps kind of reached the target. going on there all right god damn it my my time detonating crams are uh, detonating all too early that's for sure what's happening with my APS though don't tell me it got stuck no it didn't get stuck it just got damaged it doesn't have a good survivability that thing that's, that's for sure. Broadsword is down to 81 percentages. It's starting to look a little bit sad on the side. But we're still firing on. And the Saito Shepherd is down to 77 percentages. We'll see. Ew, looks like one of the... Like, looks like all the main turrets are gone. I wonder if it deals some damage anymore. 69% no it doesn't deal much damage it looks like this one is going to be a win for the broadsword that would have been really nice it was a I feel I, I I didn't get very many wins and that's probably because I don't have a practical ship I just have a ship that kind of looks cool <laughs> and yet when you're trying to look cool um, well at least you die in style but 
um, you have to accept that you're probably gonna lose a lot. But anyways, this one, uh, the broadsword does pack some serious punch for ships that gets into the broadside and uh, with some good luck we can indeed win against uh, some serious battleship targets as well. Very nice. 68 percentages, I think it will go down to below 55 pretty soon indeed. We also harpooned it in here, so maybe it can't escape too far. Look at that. E I wonder if the broadsword is thinking about switching sides already. No, it doesn't. It probably should, because it doesn't do much damage, does it? 38,000 materials. It feels that, that the broadsword is getting low on materials. We're just burning through to keep our uh, speed going. Because you can see we we're, we're still have a decent speed. We got some leakages and stuff going on there. But all in all, we are not that damaged. We're still fighting pretty strong. It's just my big APS turrets. That's, uh, it's not a very good turret at all, to be quite honest. It's too big too. It takes too much materials. But anyways, oh, we have some lamps on this thing, do we? But I guess I have a decent amount of armor piercing on them, so it won't take out them. Good for me. Right. I love my penetration depth cramps. But it feels like the ones that are hitting most oftenly are my four barrel things that are just spamming shells. My anti-air crams. <laughs> They're pretty good actually, it's one of my best crams I made. Even though it doesn't deal a lot of damage, it's great for taking out aircraft. And it's a good way to just uh, continuously deal some damage. Well anyways, uh, the broadsword, it looks funny. But I'm, I am, with my battleship building series, building a battleship, uh, I am going to try and make a proper battleship too. And uh, we might test them against some of your ships in the future. But that's far away in the future, so you don't need to plan for that already. I must say that the Sight of Shepard has some really good survivability. I think it has some decently fast repairing skills. Um... But its offensive side is really taken out already. Well, we're gonna continue letting them battle on for a bit here. And it is... It is not gaining materials either. We kind of keep it under... It's like slowly decreasing, but so are the broadsword's material storages. We're burning through a lot of materials. And this ship has like, is it like 2 million? No, it's like 200,000 materials, good. Because otherwise it would be really weird. Oh, it got repaired now. It's like, it's like repairing all the time and... My turrets are... We really need a lucky hit to take this out before the materials run out. It's really repairing. Right. Well, very nice indeed. Sixty point nine, and you know what? I'm pretty sure of this. Oh no! Oh no! The broadsword's material is down. Are you kidding me? Is this gonna be a slow as battle? Oh, we got some back by dealing some damage, but damn, come on, this is too silly. This will be the last battle for this uh, session, because I need to divide up this in several sessions. It's really cool how many ships I got submitted, but no way I can test through all this ship in one sitting, it's just impossible. 
it's not impossible, but I don't want to sit for four hours, and I don't think you want to watch four hours. So let's keep some suspension going, and we're going to look at the different um, ships in future um, battles as well. This battle's been eight minutes. Come on, are you kidding me? Is this going to be a stupid stalemate here? Is this thing repairing? It is repairing. It's slowly repairing. And the broadsword, oh no, it's out of materials. It doesn't fire anymore. And the Scyther Shepherd is stuck at 59.5 percentages. And we are over 8 minutes. I wonder how fast it will repair itself. It has the material to probably restore some weapon, doesn't it? Hmm. I got one thing that shot, didn't I? What? What? It's yeah. You know, it's it's like shooting every once in a while and dealing dealing like one damage, maybe getting a block back. Uh, but honestly, this will be like 45 seconds longer. Uh, Scyther Shepherd is almost dead and uh, We didn't set the time limit kind of hard, but these are not very serious battle either So I don't know if we are if we are having a time limit uh, on 10 minutes the broadsword wins this battle if we are having a uh, if we don't have a time limit and we don't choose to watch what happens until the better end, however long this will take, uh, I guess we have a draw. Oh no, the Saito Shepherd is actually th sinking. It's sinking. It's... <laughs> Good, we don't have to call it a draw. Uh, the Saito Shepherd is losing because it's sinking, which means it's it, it gets despawned and being very sad and stuff like that. Beautiful. Broadsword is the clear winner of this thing. No discussion. We're over 10 minutes now anyways. Um, <laughs> what are... No, we don't have any engine power. We're tipping. My, mine, mine doesn't sink though. It, it floats because it has so much wood. So it won't despawn because of this. But damn. Oh god. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. It was interesting battles so far, we'll have more interesting battles in the future videos and there will be at least two more I think, depend uh, when I'm looking at how many uh, like ships we have. So hope you enjoyed it, please tell me in the comments which were your favorite contestants and I'll see you in future videos. This is your host Jamie Desmond, we're signing out. Glorious view of the broadsword, isn't it? Beautiful. Anyway, see you around, Jamie Desmond signing out.